Hello, my name is Kristen Lenters, and I am the school social worker here at Chicago Christian High School, and I'm also the assistant school counselor. My name is Corinne Bardolph. I am the school counselor here at Chicago Christian. So some of the responsibilities of the school social worker is to meet with students individually based on either their own request or based on a diagnosis that needs some follow-up here at school. Um, I also run groups and I do a lot of different responsibilities as the assistant school counselor, including helping plan for some of the major events that we have here at Chicago Christian. And also sometimes we'll work with students on their college application process. So one of my, my main responsibilities working with students is in the academic and college and career domains. Um, so I work with all grade levels, nine through 12, um, on four-year planning, uh, scheduling, um, choosing electives. And then when you get to junior and senior year, I work a lot more with testing and um, college and post-secondary planning um, for after high school. So one of the questions that I get often is what exactly does a school social worker do? So like I've said, I do meet with students individually and some of those students do come with us with potentially a diagnosis of anxiety or depression or ADD. And I might have weekly or even monthly meetings with those kids just as a way to check in with them, kind of help them make progress towards their goals, work with their counselors outside of school and providing kind of wraparound services for them. And then another big thing that I do is that I run mutual support groups for students who maybe have a common issue. And those groups are a place for students to kind of come together, find some commonalities with each other, support each other, and also maybe learn some new skills in order to kind of move forward. And some of the groups that we've had in the past are groups for students who have lost a parent, groups for students who've lost a sibling, a group for students whose families have been divorced or never married or are currently separated, a group for students who have been adopted, and a group for students who are on the autism spectrum. Um, one of the questions that I get asked most often as a school counselor is what supports that I provide to students. Um, and really, um, a lot of the support comes, like I said earlier, throughout all four years, but it really comes heavily junior and senior year. Um, so I meet with every senior um, in the fall of their senior year to discuss their plans for after high school um, and academically how they're doing, how they're going to get there. Um, if it's college, we go through the application process. We go through financial aid information, scholarship information. Um, and some of that is done on a group basis, and some of it is done on an individual basis. Um, we also provide um, planning with um, college fairs, um, registration for that. Um, we provide um, support um, for any ACT or SAT tests that need to be taken. Um, and we kind of just work towards that post-secondary planning. Um, so even though our school, um, statistically, we have a large um, portion of our students that enroll in two-year or four-year colleges, um, we also provide support to the students who are interested in going to a trade school, enlisting in the military, or perhaps taking a gap year. So we kind of try to cover every student's needs as best as possible. So one of the big events that we do in order to have that is every other year we plan a career day where we invite about 80 professionals from the community to come in and talk about their careers. Students can sign up specifically to see different sectionals. We also have some larger group settings where maybe we have a military panel, we have college panels that come in, we had a trades panel planned for our last career day. And we also have some smaller groups where maybe students are working on kind of an interest inventory to see like what careers might I be suited for. And so hopefully every student will have two of those experiences during their four years at Chicago Christian. We also plan a college fair along with the Christian College Association to bring in between 36 and 50 different Christian colleges here on our campus so students can meet with them and ask them questions. And we also have some big testing days that we provide for our students as well as at the very end of senior year, we have a senior awards breakfast, which is always one of our favorite days, just to kind of have an opportunity to really celebrate the successes of our students, to pass out their scholarships and other departmental awards that they may be getting. So we find it really important in the counseling department to um, treat each kid as an individual. They all come to us with um, different needs and 
uh, they need different support. And so we really like to um, think of ourselves as being able to adjust and be flexible and kind of assist those students as they come to us um, because not every kid is going to have the same needs um, and not every kid is going to be interested in the same thing. So we really do our best, um, which is really helpful in the small school setting. Um, we're able to give a little bit more time to, um, to students to really work with them um, to figure out what it is um, that they need to be successful here. So this was the counseling sectional for virtual nightlife. And my name is Kristen Lenters, and I am the school social worker and assistant school counselor. My name is Corinne Bardolf. I am the school counselor here. Um, we want to say thank you for watching our sectional. Um, if you have any questions and feel like you want to reach out to us, um, our emails are listed below. Um, and additionally, if you're looking for any information um, specifically about scholarships or college planning, um, I do have a podcast um, that I recorded um, on our website as well.